Welcome to Morning Joe with Tom, with your host, Thomas Chappelle. Get ready to listen to real-life stories from inspiring leaders who have overcome incredible challenges to rise to the occasion. If you're ready to add some pep to your morning with a new outlook on leadership, then grab your cup of coffee. It's time to be inspired. Here's your host, Thomas Chappelle. Hey, Nathan. Good to see you, man. It's been a while. Hey, Tom. How's it going, man? It's good to see you as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's been what, maybe six months or or greater since we last talked. Yeah. So, uh, I was really happy whenever last week I got your email and and all. So, uh, thank you for joining us on the podcast. So, for all the listeners out there, I met Nathan through BME, and BME is uh, owned and. I guess run now by Gabe. I guess you guys are are part of his team doing doing the uh, heavy lifting of that. But uh, yeah, but he was the uh, brains behind it and and the spark that kind of got it all started. So uh, that's how I come to know you and all. But why don't you share a little bit of background with our listeners with us about your story, your origin story of getting here and how that you how that we ended up getting here today. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, again, my name is Nathan Gibson. I work as a business connection specialist for the company Business Marketing Engine. Um, Tom is very uh, good friends with the owner of the company, Gabe Arnold, as he said. I've been working with them for a little over a year, but I've been doing sales and people work for essentially my whole life. I've pivoted into it in my career now, um, freshly turned 25 last month. So I'm, I'm getting there. But uh, my, my story goes along the lines of uh, I, I got hired by BME a year ago as a marketing strategist, and I really evolved more into doing sales and connections work. So my main job there is to build relationships with people, find new businesses for and connect them to ours, and uh, just be the people person that I am. All right. Well, that sounds exciting. So let's kind of dive in a little bit there on some of this, because you know that can't be dip, that can't be easy because everybody thinks that they don't need marketing, especially in times like today where they're trying to crunch for dollars and things like mm-hmm. this. Uh, walk us through what that's like of how that you're you know working through all of that and overcoming all of those obstacles a little bit, if you don't mind. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, people definitely have some some preconceived notions about marketing agencies because there are a lot of companies in there that don't do it the proper way. At BME, we live within as our guiding principles and our view ourselves as servant leaders. So anytime we interact with a business, as you know, doing work with us, we try and do the best work that we can for them. So my journey has been, um, it's not my job when I call people and uh, do like outbound calls or sales work to convince them of something they need. It's my job to serve them when they do have a need. Um, so in my calls, it's a lot of discovery, asking a lot of questions and finding the ideal clients that work well with us. And then if they have a need for marketing, be there and serve them. So a lot of people have had poor experiences with marketing agencies before. And so we oftentimes have clients that have had these poor experiences and it takes a little bit of time to show them how we show up and serve for other people. So a part of my role is showing them the kind of work that we do for other people And one of the things that we've leaned into a lot in the past year, we've been around for 18 years, but in the past year, we've leaned into our leadership. Our company excels at leading people and guiding them down paths that help their businesses grow. And so a lot of the time, one of my biggest weapons in my arsenal for talking to people is showing them how we show up and serve as leaders. So drive down a little bit further down that, what does that really mean? I mean, if I was a new person and you're mm-hmm. discussing that with me, take me down that road a little bit. So it means like asking the right questions and being there for the right reasons. A lot of marketing agencies have cookie cutter solutions that they implement for every single business that they work with. And that's not what we do. And I we pride ourselves on that. Every single marketing strategy that we create is tailored to the business that we work with. Whether we've worked with, let's say uh, it's Morning Joe's, so coffee businesses, right? So say we've worked with four or five coffee companies. Every single coffee company we work for has a unique marketing strategy and unique 
aspects that we implement for them. So that's how we go deeper than other companies. A great example of this is um, a lot of companies do marketing research, right? However, a lot of them just stop at demographics, you know, where they live, who they are, age, gender, these types of things. We go a step further and go into psychographic information, why they buy, what's important to them, and those sorts of things. So that's how we that's how we evolve our relationships with people is we deepen our marketing research with them and show them just how diligent that we can be when it comes to crafting strategies to help grow their business, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's interesting. Uh, and where did this idea of the psychographic uh, analysis come from? Uh, our wonderful marketing strategists. I mean, they, they, uh, you, you're very familiar with Kayla. Kayla Miller mm -hmm. is an absolutely world-class marketing strategist. She taught me a lot of what I know. And of course, Dave Arnold. Um, but it, it, it came from us wanting to show up and serve at the highest level. That's a, a, that's a quote from Gabe that we implement and use in our everyday work. And even in my personal life, he's been such an amazing mentor to me. Um, when you work with clients, like we work with businesses, we want to show up and serve them at the highest possible level that we can. And we can't do that with just going to surface level information about the clients they want to serve. We want to know the clients that are the customers that they want to work with better than they know themselves. And so that's why we go so, so deep into the research is because the more you understand your target audience, the better equipped you are to sell them the things that they need. Okay. All right. So what is the, what is your market for business people? Like what type of business people do you guys work with? So we've worked with over 10,000 businesses over the years. We tout that pretty proudly and we love all the people that we've worked with. And we've grown to the point within our business that we look for the right people rather than the right business. That's why in my job, I'm the first line of defense in sales, especially if anybody does outbound calling or does sales work, you should always view yourself as the first line of defense for the people who do the day-to-day -day in your business, our project managers, our strategists, the people that meet with these clients after I get them for months and months and months and months. So my job is to find the ideal business partners because... For example, we could I could come across the lead that has, you know, a multi-million dollar business and a very successful company. But if the person behind the screen and that runs that company is a complete, you know, not good person, horrible communication skills, pompous, arrogant, we'll turn them down because we right. don't want to do that to our team. We won't do that to our team. We refuse these days. We've had times in the past where we've had unfit clients. And we're in a stage in our business where we want the right fit clients to protect our team. Oh yeah, absolutely. And I mean, I, I've I, I've been blessed because I'm a part of your uh, BME group uh, yeah. and enjoy being a client there. Uh, and I've gained some really great insights on some strategies and in, in which, and I love the ability to be able to kind of go in there, talk to them about an idea, and then see what flushes up because yeah, this comes out to be better so than what I had thought of previously. So. Yeah, uh, I, I really appreciate that. So what, you know, you, you mentioned a couple of things earlier that kind of differentiated you with the psychographics, but what would you say is your key uh, differentiator for uh, BME? Well, it would be one, our experience. We have worked with so many businesses over the years and helped so many succeed. Oftentimes we have businesses that outgrow us. They'll work with, we've had businesses that work for us for four or five years and their marketing campaign takes off and they hire an internal team. So we have tons of experience. We put in the reps and we have the processes to show for it. So that that's really our edge is there's a lot of people um, in not only marketing, but in a lot of different niches and areas that you find these days that tout this, tout that, and they just haven't put in the reps. They haven't done it. They haven't tried and failed. Failure is such an important part of business. We failed before, but we've learned from those failures and grown. And so I would say it would come down to, as I said before, our leadership, leading people into um, what they need as a business when it comes to marketing, and then our experience. We've put in the reps. We've done this and done that over the years. I mean, 
you'd be hard pressed to find a niche we haven't worked in. I mean, seriously, it's crazy. <laughs> We've done so much work for people that we are so blessed as a business to build these connections with people and be able to show up and serve them to the best of our ability. Yeah. Well, you know, and this is not a stump the chump area uh, that I'm going to ask this question in, but it's really kind of a, a realization. So, you know, I, Amongst us small business folks, we're always talking about what works, what doesn't work, you know, for what we're trying to accomplish. And I've had so many small businesses tell me, oh, that whole creating content, all of this stuff, that's so old. You know, it's advertisements where it's at and all. But whenever I joined your group, that wasn't necessarily the path uh, that I've taken. And you guys have worked with me and encouraged me on, on setting up, you know, and creating content. What makes the way that you're doing it so much different than what the hearsay that we're hearing out here? You know, why, why is it working through you guys? Because I've actually gotten clients by working with what you guys have yeah. put up. So why is it different? Well, Tom, we care is the difference. We care. We invest in our relationships and they last for a long time as proven with you. Um, we care. Um, we we are so locked in with our clients that we we want them to succeed so badly that we will do everything in our power to make that happen. Um, and it's also about um, if you want to talk about like the more logistical way of thinking about it, it's about optimization. We try, and if it doesn't work, we optimize. We try, we we build, implement, optimize over and over and over again until it works. That's why there's a lot of people that say, you know, marketing doesn't work for me. I've tried this and I've tried that. And we will ask, like, how long did you try it? Well, a month. You can't get anything achieved in a short amount of time when it comes to marketing. People have to be aware of your brand. You have to put yourself out there. You have to put in the reps. And so we're willing to invest in long-term relationships with other businesses. And that's what sets us apart. We're not in it for quick wins. Um, if you go to our wins page on businessmarketingengine.com, you'll find a video by Gabe that was like, he says, you know, this is our our list of wins. And I think you might even be on there, Tom, of, um, you know, these are testimonials from real people we've really helped succeed. But I want to give you a disclaimer. These people put in the time and the effort and the investment into their business, and then they succeed. People cut marketing campaigns too short sometimes, and they can't get accurate results. Because sometimes you try and you fail, but when you try and fail enough times, you, you succeed. We talked a little bit before the podcast about tenacity and, and being persistent, right? Mm -hmm. So we are persistent. If something doesn't work, we address that. Uh, positive confrontation is one of our guiding principles. If something isn't working, we encourage our clients to be like, hey, hey, this isn't working. Let's hop in a meeting and we will hop in a meeting. Our project manager will get a hold of you and we will figure this out with you. Because when you're working with a marketing agency, it can never be one-sided. You are the master of breakthrough strategies groups. We are the masters of marketing. When you put those two together, that's when the beautiful relationships happen. When you're both open-minded and you learn new things and you understand like where you fall short, you're, the team that you're working with can help you out. And so it's about building those relationships with people. And that's what, that's what makes us stand the test of time. Yeah, I think... My favorite thing is the day that Kayla told me no. There you go. That that meant something to me because I was totally sold on this idea that I had to advertise and that I had to go down this path. And then whenever we started down it, because I had like all these other people telling me that this is what this is how it's got to happen. Yeah. And the way she told me she's like, you're not ready yet. I was just like, at first I was a little powerful. I, I, I was a little like, wow, did she just tell me no? And like, I'm your and client. Like, you just told you know, me no. And, and then I was like, but wait a second. What does she know that I don't? And then she kind of sat down and explained herself after the fact. And, That's what makes and, you a And great I wasn't client. even upset. I wasn't even, I was never upset about the no. I was just shocked because I was like, oh, well, I'm fixing to open up a window for them to, make some money here because we you know i can't do this on my own and right. all and it kind of came back to like oh no she's telling me i'm not ready why 
So that then we walk down that path. So that is exactly the proven reason of what I said is we care. If somebody didn't care about your business, Tom, they'd be like, yeah, we'll help you out with that. Rather than thinking in depth and being like, you know what? I don't think that's a good idea. One thing Gabe has taught me, and it's been a hard lesson for me because I'm a people pleaser, right? I'm a people person. I want to make people happy. I love cracking jokes and making people <laughs> smile. It's what makes my day. Yeah. You and I joke around a lot and we have a lot of fun. But when it comes down to it, this is something Gabe has taught me well. Being honest is being kind. You're being, you are not being kind to somebody if you're not honest with them, especially in a business relationship. And Kayla is an excellent example of that because she knows so much about marketing that she, she refused to let you do something that was not a good idea. And what's great about that, and this, goes, this harkens back to our talk about leadership, right? Business owners and entrepreneurs are amazing people. They're creative, they're energetic, they're driven, they're ambitious, but sometimes they can go like this, like a balloon that's about to pop. And sometimes you have to shrink it down and focus that a little bit because if you have too many ideas and you're going so many different directions and, oh my gosh, this guy says I should do this. Oh my gosh, but what if I should do this? As a marketing team, we hone that in for the business owners that we work with. Let's focus on this first. Let's create a roadmap to get to the point where you want to be. And we can be honest with people. And that's why what I said earlier about finding the right fit clients, that's why you're an amazing client. And that's why we love working with you, Tom, is because you're open to feedback. We can't have the most hard-headed, stubborn person on the planet as a client because they'll never grow. They'll never see outside of their little box. You know yeah. what I mean? So that's, that's what's different about us. Well, I have to say, uh, whenever you guys told me, like, we needed to cultivate my offer, and I was mm -hmm. like, okay. It took me like a month to create that. And it was like 21 pages. About wow. <laughs> I know you like to write. <laughs> you're, you're incredible. But, but I was, well, what I actually did was I took Alex Hormozzi's book and I just talked to him through the yeah. whole offer, the whole book. And that took 21 pages to kind of like answer every question he would have asked. He's and incredible. I kind of wrote it back to myself and then so that I could understand it. So then I could go present it. Kayla. Exactly. And come back and and I sent it to her to kind of and then we met and she's like, okay, well, we could tweak this, we could tweak that. And that was also the same day that she told me she's like, you're not ready yet. You know, we we can do this more organically. We can, you know, save you some money here and do these different things. And exactly. I, that is why that I'm your client today, is because I feel safe. I know. You're not going to take me out over the ledge. And exactly. In that little tiny, that little tiny branch with exactly a right with a broken <laughs> umbrella for a parachute. <laughs> Please don't <laughs> rain on me. Like, well, and that's that's the difference we talked about earlier about other marketing agencies. They're just in it for the win. And there's a lot of businesses that are like that. Like that's why uh, in my in my cold calls, like when I reach out to a new business, I'll, I'll, one of the first things I say is, I just want to let you know I'm not trying to sell you something. I just came across your website and I genuinely found it interesting and I just wanted to have a conversation about it. And that mm -hmm. opens people up to be like, oh, wow, he might actually care, he might actually have an interest. And so that's that's another point I wanted to make is we're humans before we're anything. And if you can have human, real, genuine connections with people, things will fall into place. Our first guiding principle at BME is relationships first. We will always put the relationship before money. We are not in it for that. We're in it to truly help businesses. That's why we created BME Crew to serve businesses who have a smaller budget. That's why we've tweaked and optimized our offers over the years because we want to be there to serve the business when they need it. We will never oversell something that somebody doesn't need, just like we wouldn't undersell something. If you have a multi-million dollar business and you need a marketing team, we're not going to give you our lowest package because it's, you're, you're way past that. Just like on the other end, we're not going to sell you a multi-thousand dollar marketing package when you're a startup. There's companies that would do that, and we wouldn't do right. that. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's 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 so good. And why don't you take a little bit of time and kind of explain those packages a little bit just so that the people understand because you've named off several of them in, in, that, yeah. in that little last comment. <laughs> yeah, so uh, at BME, we have a few different things that we can do for clients. What we do for our higher-end clients and, and people who need a full-service marketing team, we always start out by building a marketing blueprint. 
the blueprint is something that sometimes we sell that to a client and they take that and run with it and run it on their own or run it with another business. We encourage that. We encourage you to do what you want to do with that. That's the first trial run between our businesses. We want to make sure it's a right fit for your team and a right fit for our team. So what we do is we compile all the information that the business owner has. And then if they have a large enough customer base, we survey their audience as well. We take that information to our lovely Kayla Miller, who we have uh, talked about many times, and she crafts a marketing strategy, which is a 12-month roadmap for growth within the company. Um, we have holistic blueprints, which is all-inclusive like that, and then we have simple blueprints. And then we have um, what I believe you're on, which is our BME crew, and that's a monthly-based subscription service where you have some as-needed marketing support. And it's done really, really well for your business because you're the right type of person for it. Somebody who will take time out of their day to join the join the calls and just say what you have going on and uh, spitball the the ideas that you have. That's what BME's crew is great for. It's for people who need some assets created, but also need some strategies, some advice and support. It's for people who are proactive in growing their business, but not, may not have the full budget for a marketing team. So we have the all-inclusive marketing plans that we do where you have the full service from our team and we do pretty much everything for you. And then you have BME Crew where it's done with you. We stand side by side with you and we help you out and help you grow your business. But it has to be a person like Tom where they're proactive and will create things, will do the work, will come to the meetings. So we have a broad range of ways that we can serve businesses and we pride ourselves on that. Yeah, I often find myself... It's not always that I need something other than just getting that getting that juice whenever I go in and get exactly. pumped back up, you know, because I'm listening. Because usually there's someone else in there, so it's right. not just me with them. Uh, there's usually a couple of other people, and we're sitting in there, and I'm listening to them, and they're listening to me. And so we got that interplay. Then yep. we got Kayla in there and, and, and all. And it just turns out to be just – a big idea fest whenever yes. it's in there. And you kind of walk away with something that says, you know, I think I can implement that exactly. and mine. And, and I'm going to just run a test to see how that works. 100%. Yeah, that's what's so great about BME Crew is we, we also, not only do you have the support of our marketing team and you can come and spitball ideas and just have a good time and spark new ideas, which is like, always important as a business owner you also get the support and make connections with other business owners you know keith he's great we have other people that are in bme crew so not only do you have the full team of marketing you have other business owners that have been through the same things you have you can you know make make valuable business connections um, there's been times where we've recommended recommended people to you uh, because you have government contracting experience and you have all kinds of different experience in these different areas and we're like, oh, well, Tom could help you out. Reach out to Tom. And so that's what's great about having like small business connections is you can serve people in so many different ways. Right. And I think the other thing I liked about it was, uh, at least in the Friday one that I've, you know, because that's the usual one I, I attend. Right. Uh, has been that the PM is there during yes. the call. And what I love about it is at the at the end of the day, they're kind of, or recapsulating what was discussed and the important points and things like this. And it's like, hey, should we set up an appointment to talk with someone on the team to kind of like help explore that and maybe get you to the right person? Bit? Right. Yeah. And she's able to do that right away. Yeah. It, it doesn't, it, it's not just I get off and then I'm having to try to remember to go into you know, go into the scheduler and schedule it all out. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. It it gets handled right there, and that's what I love about that. It's like, yeah, it, it's uh, I, I, you know, it's it's just really a great service, and I've I found it very helpful because I don't need a ton of help all the time, but when I need it, it's there, and I'm guaranteed exactly. that you guys meet at least twice a week, and and all, and I can catch you either on a Wednesday or a Friday, and and you know, get my needs met. Exactly. Yeah, that's what we try and do is just be there for when people need us. That's why we created subscription based services, because there's a lot of entrepreneurs and business owners that are at a stage where it, it's a one man army, you're doing it all yourself. And so it's really hard to wear all those hats, you know, to be doing the day to day, the logistics, the billing, and then also the marketing on top of it. So it, it's really what crumbles a lot of businesses. And so when somebody's willing to invest in their business, and take a step forward to be like, I need help with this. 
those are the people that truly grow and succeed. Right. Right. And I think one of the things that, uh, that, you know, when we were talking about content earlier that, that mm -hmm. I remember about, and I received encouragement about the first time I said, Hey, I'm going to go start something on Substack. There you and, go. And all because I'd been applying and posting on LinkedIn and all, and, uh, you know, I'm just not that short form content guy. You know, right. I, I, I like to take an idea and just kind of really give me 2,500 words. Yeah. To kind of say it. You're a writer. True and <laughs> true and true and tried. <laughs> so, you know, uh, and, and, and the, the, the thing about it is, is that I kind of came back and I said, Hey, I'm not getting anybody reading that. And the team came back, and said, Hey, have you ever thought about writing a synopsis? So now my posts are now a bluff bottom line up front of that document that I'm writing. Yep. That's the post. And then the link is back to the sub stack. And I've actually gotten more traction doing that. Yeah. Cause people, some people, well, in, in this day and age, attention spans are at an all time low. And so it's really hard to get a hold of people to read a super long form document unless it's really, really prevalent for them. So you need to catch their attention with some sort of quips or just a TLDR. And then, hey, if you want more information, check this out. And then you can have your whole big, long, you know, packet information on it. But that way you're doing your best to say, hey, wave your hand in front of somebody. I might have something you need. People could look at it and be like, I don't need that. Move on. That's okay. But somebody's like, oh, that might be something I'm interested in. Then they can go deeper into it. So that's a great, that's a great piece of advice. And it's why we have some of the best strategists in the world. They are yeah. so good at what they do. And you can tell Kayla that I'm, I'm working on implementing a video content of that Ooh. bluff. So that's and awesome. A shorter version of the bluff because you only have like 60 seconds at that right, point. So, right. So it'll go out on Instagram and LinkedIn to kind of like awesome. bring that so that they get that short and then they can read the bluff if they want more. And then they can go to the doc to deeper into the document uh, or what I call deeper into the jungle. Yeah, there you go. That's awesome. Yeah. Video um, content's huge these days. We push it to everybody that's willing to put in the time for it, um, especially with, uh, we talk a lot about short form media being so prevalent, especially with people in a younger generation like me, uh, people scrolling through TikToks or Instagram reels or YouTube shorts. It's it's really what's grown to be the probably most watched forms of media, short form media. So if you're not afraid to get behind a camera and just show what you're all about, we always encourage people to do that because it, it gives you so many different ways of being able to reach people rather than just writing a post. Um, when people uh, when people can put a face to the brand, it's really, really huge. I have a great story and a great example of this. I don't, I don't remember the name of the business or anything, but this is a true story. I was doing research or checking something out on TikTok. And um, there was this business uh, that had their business page where they showed their products and it was really advertisement based, blah, blah, blah. It was hugely business oriented, right? It had X amount of you, uh, followers, right? We'll say, I don't remember the exact number. I went to, after that, I went to the business owners TikTok and that they showed their face, showed them touring the office, checking stuff out and put a face behind the brand. It had double the amount of engagement and followers than just the business side. So people hmm. care about what the, the people behind the scenes are doing, humanizing it. We talked about that earlier, being a human. And so that's why it's so important to put a face behind your brand these days is because people relate to that. They, you know, say, wow, they're a normal guy like me. It's not just some huge brand or some somebody trying to sell me something. Just a normal yeah. guy like me in my office or showing off, you know, what we do. Um, sales boils down to the transference of trust. And so if somebody is able to trust you, they're more likely to buy from you because they feel like they can connect to you and they, you're similar to them, right? And so putting a face behind the brand is an absolutely powerful way of uh, showing who you are to people. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, you know, you're, you're, today on this podcast, but you have a podcast of your own. So would you spend a little time telling the listeners? Because I'd love to for them to go out and uh, check you guys out. I thought you'd never ask, Tom. Uh, <laughs> so I run I run a podcast with the owner of the company I work for named Gabe Arnold. The, the um, podcast is called The Marketer's Blueprint. 
And we talk about all things marketing in today's day and age. And we do a lot of educational and fun content on there that's really aimed towards business owners. So we talk about things like we have an episode out about the prevalence of AI and marketing, the ways to use it, the ways not to use it. We have an episode on Facebook marketing. We have an upcoming episode on LinkedIn. Uh, we talk about, it's really a, a great fun back and forth between me and Gabe, where I share my sales expertise and you know my experience with working for the company. And then the mastermind himself, Gabe Arnold, he is so, so knowledgeable when it comes to all things marketing. So it's hugely valuable for anybody that's a business owner or somebody who wants to start a business or anybody who wants to learn more about marketing. We try to aim it to be accessible to everybody. So it's on YouTube, it's on Spotify, it's on Apple Music, wherever you listen to podcasts, it'll be there. And we have a ton of fun doing it. Absolutely. And I've watched, a, I've watched, I saw one of the episodes at least. So, uh, and it was funny. I uh, found myself chuckling throughout the, throughout the interview. So my goal is always to make somebody laugh. That's what makes my day, Tom. So if I can make somebody laugh, that's, that's how the podcast usually go with us is it's me, you know, making a couple quick you know, quips or bringing up the energy and then Gabe really nailing into the important stuff. So it's a really great dynamic. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So Nathan, I've really enjoyed our time together here today. Yeah. Um, I would like to kind of give you the floor because uh, I always like to give the last word to, to the guest. So I'd really like to kind of one uh, kind of go through and Kind of talk about any last moment things that would encourage people to go check you out at BME. Yeah. And, you know, links, things of that nature. Uh, two, give them some sort of encouragement on the marketing space because it's a big, scary world out there. It really is a jungle out there. Whenever. Yeah. And there are so many people out there that just eat your lunch if you're not careful. Yeah. And then, and then three, how would you? really kind of what can they really come to expect whenever because we've talked a lot about the personal touch uh the loving on the, uh, the loving on the team and the loving on the people and all of that but for those that really just need to experience it how would they get to do that yeah, I would be happy to wrap up with those things. So if you guys ever need any help with marketing, we can be here from you for you. Uh, you can check us out at businessmarketingengine.com. We have a contact page on there where you can fill out some information about your business, what your goals are, and then I can reach out to you, me, myself, and we can have a conversation about what you could need. Um, and we would be happy to serve you. We are servant leaders at BME, and we will always do right by you and build that relationship so that you can grow your business over time. Uh, just a quick stat, usually companies that work with us see a three to five X return on their ads within the first year, and then up to eight to 10 uh, X return on in the next few years after that. So we've done, we've done it, we've done it for years and we do it well. And we are proud of that. We always try to serve people well, and we'd be happy to work with anybody who's the right fit. And just a couple words of wisdom and advice. Don't give up. So many entrepreneurs get tired and upset and frustrated. Don't give up. Live your dreams because there's nothing better in this world than owning a business and working your hardest to make it succeed. I, I'm so involved with the company that I almost feel like an entrepreneur myself, even though I'm an employee of BME. They involve me in everything and I get so many wonderful opportunities to share what I have to share with the world. And so the last couple of things I'll say is when it comes to marketing, don't give up. You have resources, you have tools at your disposal, put in the work. If you want to grow your business, invest your time and invest your effort. And if you need help, of course, a team like us can be here from you, but don't give up. Whenever challenges arise, face them head on. And if you fail, get back up. If you fail again, get back up. It will be okay, and you can succeed. And that's Nathan, uh, that's my TED talk, <laughs> Nathan. That's great. That's great. And you represent BME very well. And I'm I'm a blessed man to know you and have befriended you. So I thank you very much, and you represent uh, Gabe very well as well. So yeah, anybody who's watching, y'all know Tom. Tom is one of the greatest people I've ever met. He's a great friend of mine, a business partner. 
and we love each other. He, he is such a great guy. I've had the opportunity to have one-on-ones with him. We stay in touch. And if there's any opportunities with Tom, check it out. He is a great man to know. Truly. I appreciate that. And uh, listeners, we will include all those links into the uh, description. Excellent. The and uh, yeah, Nathan, thank you very much. My pleasure, Tom. Thank you so much for having me. I hope I get the chance to come on again. Oh, absolutely. You're welcome back anytime. So you have a blessed one and be highly favored. You too. Thanks so much, Tom. Thanks for listening to Morning Joe with Tom. Be sure to subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts so you don't miss an episode. See you next time for more real life stories and inspiration on Morning Joe with Tom.